Hello YouTube. This is first for figure guts. The berserk animation. This thing is huge. Very deep. I think it's 25 inches deep and 27 inches. That's what they said. I don't know. Uh, didn't measure it. This is the regular one. The, the exclusive is still available, but I took the regular. There is some reasons for that. For one reason, the exclusive is looking down on the... Something is attacking him. And I have to put it on top shelf. Uh, I, I don't want to do that. I want to put it on the bottom shelf. And this is very hard to film it because it's uh, very big. So, if you put it on the top shelf, the exclusive, the, there is something purple like soul attacking him. It covers like half of this statue. I don't want to cover it. And uh, I want the focus on him. That one is too purple. And this one is black and gray, so it takes a lot from the statue, my opinion, only my opinion. But the exclusive have three heads, this one two head. But the good thing, the best head for, for, from all the three, it comes with the regular. And the regular and exclusive comes in bloody version and normal version. I took the normal version, not because it's better, beca uh, because... I'm afraid of th that the blood is not good. Maybe it's sloppy. Uh, if, if it becomes sloppy and I'm gonna regret it, then I cannot go back. This way I'm safe. No bloody. And I hate when a statue covers in mud or blood. It covers the sculpt of the statue covers the detail. So huge. Okay, and the reason also. So this is not the bloody. There is another channel. I'm gonna put the description if I know how to put the description below. The down the the link for that video. A Korean guy. He repainted this one, and he made it. A million times better if you're gonna buy this one or you're gonna you're thinking of buying this don't watch the video because it's gonna look this one bad he made an incredible incredible job I never seen something this good painted if I didn't put the link in the description just type uh, first of figure uh, repaint uh, guts repaint or something so he put blood on the not bloody version and he repainted, he put lines on the sculpt and he made it super, super, like way better. It looks like <coughs> and jump out of the comic book. <coughs> now the, the critique on this one is very small. Like, first of all, the face is too red in person than in camera. I had the same problem in the Metal Gear Solid Snake. It's translucent red. I think it's too translucent. Like it needs less, or it should not be translucent like Jin or Morgan from the first of figure. Now the problem from the uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake. This one is bigger. Uh, problem than that one. That one is the uh, same redness, but this one is more. So this is the this is the biggest critique on this one. The rest is small. For example, the character he should be this one right now is a, a normal size one fourth scale human being. He should be bigger. I know that in animation he's bigger. At least him size as cable. But they're not. He's smaller. 
is the same size as Magneto or any statue. It should be like bigger. And the last critique is the arm is I think it's overly textured. The skin is overly, way overly textured. Like this one has a life size human has less texture than this one. Let me just. Uh, it's very hard, so it's very wide and deep, and let me just turn it. And before I hit the cape on the edge, it's afraid to drop it. And all right, yeah. So, yeah, the hand is overly textured. Wait. Yeah, you can see it's overly textured. The paint is better. The paint on this one is different than the head, like I said. Look at this. This is not translucent. The hand is not translucent. This is translucent, so it doesn't match up. So that's a big mistake for first figure. The cape is really good. So this is the last critique. That's it. The cape is excellent texture. Like wow. It's light and very high quality. The cape is not too hard to put it, just uh, it needs right angle. The sword is very light and the peg here is better than the prime one. It's like maybe till here, the peg, the metal uh, peg. So you put the statue on the base, you put this, uh, this one and the cape. Now, the difference between this one and the Prime One, let me just return this to the for please. Okay, so the Prime One has, he's a bigger character, so more accurate. This, the cape is better sculpted on Prime One. Yeah, yeah, there's also a critique here. It's a little glossy, the cloth. The cloth is a little glossy, even in this hand. Should be matte. It's okay, the texture is fine, but should be completely gloss, uh, matte. So, so the prime one is very big. Uh, the, it's 26 inches wide. This is less, way less. So if you have a short statue, you can put it underneath the sword if you measure the sword from here to here I think it's 24 inches but uh, I think you can put like another statue here it doesn't take space if the other statue is shorter uh, this has better texture heavier texture and it needs that because the comic book is very heavily uh, sketched these are metal, real metal, because the original it was breaking, it was polystone, so they made it metal. They can make it PVC, but they, they didn't uh, cut any shortcuts, they made it metal. So if any company does that, they're gonna make it PVC. So that's big of them, they made it metal. This one is attachable, that's it, this is attached, this is a chain attached. The cape and the sword. The sword is longer and bigger than the Prime One. And Prime One, the character is bigger. This is more accurate. And this, this circle, needs to be a little wider to be more accurate from the comic books and the animation. So, black base doesn't take a lot from the statue. The stone is really well done and well painted and I love how they made it brown not gray if they made it gray it will put uh, this will like mixed with the statue because the statue also black so they made it brown you can see this one is black with the berserk this one matte the berserk is glossy so this is the piece
they fixed the mouth from the prototype. This is way better than the prototype. They fixed the mouth, they fixed the hair, they fixed everything. So, it is very, very heavy. I think it's, uh, yeah, they said it's nine and a half kilos. It's not that heavy, but the box is very heavy. Look at this, look at the sword. One swing and it chops the whole lineup. Except Magneto because he can stop the, uh, the sword. So, thank you for watching. The next video, I don't know which, which one. Would, yeah, I think Flash from Sideshow. Yeah, yes, Flash. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, yes. Uh, one more thing. I forgot to put this one. Think like that. Yeah. Yeah, like that. So, yeah. Again, thank you for watching. Bye.